Does everybody have a drink? <laughs> right here, Bill. You gotta be armed and dangerous. <laughs> I like to see, okay. See Petrus? Petrus? Coming Ooh. in. All right, and welcome. Alex? Welcome, welcome. Alex. Great. Hello, Tim, Mr. Mr. President. President. <laughs> That's Ed Martins. <laughs> I'm just I'm just 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 improving. Can't keep a good man down. Well, I see the numbers are climbing, but starting to taper. Hi, everybody. We've got Roman here. Oh. Roman, I'm going to update your Our name. Chairman Roman Papaduke and Glenn Kramer are here. Liz is here to make sure. Hey, all right, all right. The drinks are here. All right, this is what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to ask you to open up your chat box, all right? And see that there is a link. And what we're gonna do is, um, before you click that link, now that you're here, and Liz, you're going to have to keep an eye on those who are coming a little late. Maybe you I will. will. You won't will. let them in. You won't let them in for a while. Sure. Um, what I'm going to ask everybody to do, please, is to first, in the lower left-hand corner. Bill, you just want to mute. Bill, you... <laughs> Bill you're on mute. Yeah. 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 Mute your sound. Okay. <laughs> then you are going to shut off your camera and click that link. It should open another browser and you will be, or you can cut and paste it and you will watch that video for three minutes and four seconds. Come back, turn your video back on so we can see you again. Go enjoy the video. Okay. I don't know Bye. how to do that. So you're going to mute your sound, shut off your camera, click the link, watch the video. It's three minutes, then come back and turn on your video.
and mute. Awesome. That was awesome. Ready? Back, everybody. Yay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Excellent. You haven't Play. seen that before? <laughs> you said pretty cool. Oh. Roll very, it back. <laughs> very triumphant uh, soundtrack. Well, we're trying to be positive. Thank you. Yes. With the cuts and the editing, I thought maybe Mortada Muhammad was doing the salsa lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I love the belly dancer. I think yes. Mortada. I think That's Mortada my friend. Be dancing reminds me of Nina. Mm. Bill, will All you right. be posting this online so we can share it with the members of our councils? We will. We have. Well, we are you? Be. Isn't this the session where you teach the belly dancing lesson? <laughs> no, I can do the yoga. I'm not doing do that. Yoga. Oh, too bad. We uh, have um, we have quite place. a collection of videos. We have mm. that beautiful video that makes me proud. And when I first saw it, I was crying for God's sake. Yeah. We have uh, we have a, a very nice video for our C-suite forum and. Last year's conference, we'll have a video on this too. Liz, somebody has to take a picture of the screenshot, of course. I will. And we have a 2019 wrap up video also. Right, that's what I meant. Yeah. Here, I'll take a picture now. Can everybody uh, get ready? One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so that video did indeed make me extremely proud of all of you, of my team, of all council leaders, and everybody who put an energy into that, uh, that made a, for a phenomenal week in early May. Um, what I want you to do now, since you're very practiced, is to mute your sound again, if you haven't. Bill, would you explain how to do that? Also, and you're on mute right now yourself, but would you explain for those um, muting you. and video? So muting in the lower left corner of your screen, in the black frame, lower left, there's a mute, a mic mute. And if you click it, you'll see the red icon that shows that you're mute. All right. Everybody should mute their mics. And right next to that is a stop video. The only people who should be seen are WACA's two chairmen, Liz, and our honoree tonight, which we've tried to be as suspenseful as possible about. So if you all go away, you know who you are and who you aren't. If you're not the honoree, close your video. Liz, you stay with Roman, Glenn, and our honoree. Bye. Alex, you have to turn off your video. <laughs> Alex is a, okay, good, good man. Harriet, bye-bye. Nancy, goodbye. You're gonna be watching, you're gonna be hearing, but we just, Nancy, kill your stop video in the lower left-hand corner. Mimi Gregory, you too. <laughs> Everybody else's videos off, sound is off. Roman's here. Glenn is here, Liz is here. Harriet, bye, we want to give it to you next year. <laughs> 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 and I think we have a winner. I, th I, think we, I think we have a winner. First of all, Megan, I want to congratulate you on your role and your innovation in helping uh, do the C by C uh, virtual national dialogue. <laughs> I think that was just wonderful and appreciate everything that you did and all the efforts you put into this, you and the, the Connecticut uh, WAC Council. So thank you very much for that effort and all that good work. Uh, as you know, a few years ago, Bill and I instituted a series of awards to uh, recognize and honor the individual councils and individuals within those councils for the exceptional work they do in terms of the innovation they bring to their own council as well as to the national network and the exceptional administration that they do of councils. Uh, you've shown an exemplary uh, 
exemplary record of this at all counts. In terms of innovation, as I mentioned just now, the virtual national conference, but you've done more than just that. Example is, you know, the um, long distance uh, virtual learning experiences that you brought the students through your model UN the past summer in Connecticut uh, was very instrumental in broadening the reach of your Connecticut Council. You also, beyond the innovation, you've brought strong administrative skills to the council and increased its reach. But equally important among the other things that you've done is as by this virtual national dialogue, you've uh, strengthened the network. You've reached out to the network. You've uh, incorporated networks into a common cause. And I think that's all helps to strengthen the network overall. So to a great extent that you epitomize what is best in terms of individual performance, you've highlighted not only your own skills, but also the, the dedication of everyone at the Connecticut Council. So it's with great pleasure that we will be recognizing you this year. And the award, of course, is the Chairman's Award for Individual Performance. At this stage, I'd like to just turn it over to Glenn. Thank you, Roman. Uh, Megan, let me also congratulate you. I'm, I'm thrilled for you. And I really want to thank you for your leadership, your vision, your dedication, your hard work, and really the collaboration that you've shown with WACA and with the your fellow council leaders around the country. It's really been wonderful to see what you've achieved this year and how you've collaborated with our entire network to put on uh, really an extraordinary program, C by C. Um, you're a, really a model of service and dedication for all of us. And so uh, without further ado, uh, it's my great honor and privilege to present to you the 2020 Chairman's Award uh, to Megan Clark Torrey. Congratulations, Megan. I think we should come on and everybody grab their glass. Every come, everyone come back on with their drink, their cocktail. <laughs> Let's toast Megan together. We would like some, we would like some uh, remarks. Hey. There you go. Okay. okay, sorry, I was muted. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you, thank you, Roman, for you, and thank you, Glenn. And it's my opportunity to welcome you to the council. And thank you, Roman, for all that you've done over the last few years. Uh, it is truly an honor to receive this chairman's award, especially this year. 2020 has been a tough year. It's been hard on me, on my family I love so much on the organization, our communities, our country, our world. So much of what we are living through now is about pushing through, rising up and facing the challenge of the day. And I know each and every one of us on this call tonight has experienced hardship and pain this year. 2020 has presented new challenges to us personally, to our families, to our daily life. But across the council system, we've put forth extraordinary efforts to rethink how we manage our teams, how we engage our communities, how to maintain strength and direction through constant uncertainty. In the midst of this uncertainty, one thing has remained unwavering, and that's the value and necessity of the mission of the council network. I am so lucky to get to work every day in a job that I love with a team that I could not ask, I could not ask for a better team. Amanda, Nicole, Caroline, we've all worked exceptionally hard this year to reimagine the possible. And I am so proud of the work we did and, we're, and we can continue to do. CXC Amplified, getting the opportunity to work with all of you across the, the country. Our State of the World series, our brand new podcast and virtual series, our Global Security Forum this year, which featured five four-star generals, including one of the Joint Chiefs. And as Roman said, our Model United Nations program, which took a thousand person in-person uh, event to an online virtual um, format, all while creating the model. And so this year has truly been groundbreaking for us. And none of us get to do this work without the support of our communities in our engaged members and our dedicated boards. And I am so privileged to have a great board supporting all that we do. And it's evidenced by so many of you being here tonight. 
And this honor is also a reflection of the strength of the community in which I have the wonderful opportunity to work. And to all my colleagues and friends across the network, know that I respect and admire all of you and you inspire me every day. To be recognized among you is a tremendous honor. And I have never felt more united as a network than I do this year. To all the council leaders, team members, supporters, and especially our dedicated national office, it is a privilege to work with you. The work we do is important and it's necessary. If we wanna live in communities that can openly discuss critical global issues together, if we wanna have our students prepared to meet the opportunities ahead, if we wanna live in a world made more secure by principled American leadership, then our work is the work that needs to be done. Earlier this week, at the beginning of this conference, we heard General Allen, Jane Harmon, Richard Fontaine, and Bill Burns talk about the necessity of tying domestic renewal to engagement on foreign policy and reaching communities across the country. That gave me renewed purpose in everything that all of us do. What we do builds a more civil, productive, just, and secure nation and world for us all. I am so grateful to be recognized by WACA tonight and above all, to be part of this network whose important work is more relevant than ever. And collectively, we are strong and together we are building a better future. So I wanna thank all of you for recognizing me tonight. Thank you so much. We can all come back. Harriet, come back. <laughs> Megan. Uh, each night this week has been really bittersweet for me and my team. And I think for all of us who enjoy coming together once a year for the national conference. Mm -hmm. The night is particularly tough, but if anybody can make verve and passion and emotion come alive on the screen, it is you. You've done it again. Here's to you. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> so I'd like to invite anybody with a Megan story or a Megan question or a Megan tale or just to comment on how you're doing locally and what you want to talk about. Or what you appreciate about Megan. And that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a message from, from within Connecticut uh, from Megan. Uh, I, you know, I took over two years ago and Megan had taken over a handful of years before that. And uh, I reached out when I took over and I said, wow, I really, I need somebody to, to model what this is for me. And Megan has just been beyond a, a terrific role model. She's been a terrific friend and she has such an amazing team out there. <laughs> Uh, and it's, it, it truly is an inspiration, and it's not the kind of inspiration that makes you jealous. It's the kind that inspires you, yeah. and we need that in our world more now than ever. So thank you, Megan. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I have a, a Megan comment. Uh, we were very fortunate <laughs> to go on a... Um, Waka trip to Taiwan two years ago, I guess. And Megan always had the best questions and she was always right on it. Any topic that came up, like totally prepared and, and you know, impeccable manners and all that. Uh, but really the most important thing is that we were, uh, that I remember is that we were sitting at this incredibly fancy restaurant, like white tablecloths, like a million waiters, et cetera. And you may not remember this, Megan, but you actually managed to put the sea cucumber out of your mouth and into the napkin <laughs> and hide it without anybody noticing but me. And that is one of, but one of the many, many reasons that I admire your leadership, because I did the same thing after you. <laughs> And I thought nobody saw me. <laughs> it, it took style. It took leadership. 
and and we admire and watch what you're doing in Boston. Like we're always talking about, like, God, look at what they're doing, what Megan's doing. So, um, one of one of the many ways that that you have shown leadership and creativity, and we admire you. I appreciate it so much. I like I when I said I admi I admire you and you inspire me. You all really do. You keep you keep us going. You know, like I said, we're a team and we're in this together. So, thank thank you to everyone. So Megan, Megan, uh, from the other side of your team here in Connecticut, uh, being a board member is one of the most exhilarating pieces of my life, and I have an exciting life. But thanks to you and the team, I'm always learning and growing to have an opportunity to meet world leaders, to be part of a, a national organization. Um, and most important, I want to say, Megan, that you truly are a friend. And the board works very hard to try to keep up with you. <laughs> Your inspiration and your energy and your passion and your commitment uh, really guides us all. And it, our success is your success. I mean, your success is our success. So I'm following a new, um, a new model, and that is just follow Megan and we'll all be okay. <laughs> so, a compassionate leader, a bold visionary, and a friend to, uh, to all here in Connecticut. Congratulations, Megan. We're so proud. Thank you. We have a comment from the CTUAC team just to really highlight, Megan, your commitment to our, our mission and success is, is evident in everything that we do. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that um, I am so proud to be part of a team that's led by such a strong, driven and talented person. And we can't think of anyone more deserving of this award. So congratulations, Megan. Thank you. But I, you know, I have to say my team is the best. I'm not joking. They make me look good every day. So I, <laughs> so thank you so much. You mean so much to me. So Cynthia, i um, Belle Buca and Paul Buca here. And um, we have had the good fortune of knowing Megan for well over a decade. Um, and I first met Megan when she was the director of programming for the World Affairs Council of Connecticut. And it has been really incredible to, to see how Megan has grown in this role because she has had so many challenges. You know, she, she, she inherited, she didn't even ask for this role. <laughs> you know, I mean, she didn't ask for it. Everybody wanted her to take it um, by default. And she just stepped into this role so beautifully and so seamlessly and really um, elevated. And this is, this is not to sound disparaging of our previous um, <laughs> executive director or teams or whatever, but she really moved our council um, in, a, in a direction and upward and forward in a way that it, it really needed. Um, during a very, very challenging time. So, um, and it seems like you've had nothing but challenging times, <laughs> Megan, since, um, since you've become the CEO of our council, but we are um, never, ever disappointed by the incredible efforts that you and your team um, make and are just so proud to be associated with you and to always recommend you and refer you to anybody that we can, that we help, will further um, the cause. So thank you from Chins and Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Love you guys, thank you so much. Okay. Can I just say one thing, actually? <laughs> I'm probably the newer kid on the block here, but um, not many years ago, only about three and a half years ago, nearly four now, uh, we bought our first US facility, which is in Connecticut, and Megan was one of the first people that I met actually at, um, it was an ambassador's reception, I think, Megan, if you remember. And uh, Megan was like a beacon there that night. And um, it's thanks to people like Megan that we've been absorbed into the community and the global community. 
and that's one of the reasons that we're so passionate about uh, about Connecticut uh, for uh, a manufacturing facility for us. So thank you, Megan. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for all you do. I think it was the Italian ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just add too that Megan, as someone who places so much importance on women empowerment and equality, those are things that are very near and dear to my heart. And as a younger woman, I am, you are such an inspiration to me. And I love that you're a younger woman who heads a council. I think we need a lot more of that. You're an inspiration. We appreciate you. I've loved working with you. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. Megan, I, I just think it's inspiring how you use your skills and your, your just amazing uh, gifts to, as, as uh, the chairs were saying, to make the network so much stronger. And you do it in a way that really make us become your friends and, and admire, as Liz was saying, your work. And it's just like, Especially in this year, I can't think of a better person. It's uh, you totally deserve this, and uh, just cheers to you. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you. Well, Megan, we had a plan for tonight, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't exactly go according to plan, but somehow <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> a couple of things. Um, gosh, it's going to be so hard to pick next year. You can wear that crown a long time. And I think our chair, it will be Glenn uh, Kramer, who will be the sole chair, might have to share the, the presentation with you if we're so lucky to go back live and you know pass that, pass that award on to the next person. But um, uh, there was just no question in my mind that, that, that this was your, your year. I hate to be a, a wet blanket because we did have a plan and we have guests coming in. In fact, the plan we had was to, 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 to try and get the wife of, of one of our next speakers, Jeffrey Darton, to mix cocktails for us. You can guess who she is. But maybe we can do that again, Megan, in a joint event early next year. Like I said, this was way better, just like this, to see everybody come together and celebrate you. So thanks and congratulations for everything you've done. Thanks to her incredible team and her board, her council and the leadership she gives us every day. Thank you, everyone. Yay! Yay! Salute. Salute. And I hope we'll see you for the Farm Policy Association event in 15 minutes. <laughs> Not so sober. Less than 12, All right. 12 minutes. 12. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Thank you. Congratulations. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Till soon. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. See you soon. Good night, Good everybody. Good night. Bye, Camp Walker. Thank you. Bye. Well done. Well Yay. done. Well done. Excellent. Thank you, Amanda and Nicole. <laughs>